You're looking at a flight simulator built for a fly. Caltech's Michael Dickinson and his team created the Fly Flight Simulator to learn how flies respond to what they see. The shapes in the display correspond to objects in the fly's natural environment, vertical stripes for safe trees or blobs for dangerous predators. We're interested in how flies can actually make these decisions between something that is threatening and something that might be a safe haven. Like a person's hands controlling a video game, the speed of the fly's left and right wings steered the simulator. As the researchers wrote in the journal Current Biology, the flies were attracted toward the stripes. But as you made the stripes shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter, you reach a point where the flies begin to uh, steer away from the objects rather than steering towards them. Dickinson says the simple visual rules that flies use to change their flight paths could have broader applications. He plans to use them to help create self-operating flying robots. They could be used in, in search and rescue operations. There's interest in using them for planetary exploration. Even outside the lab, Dickinson admires flies and is more likely to entice them to land on his arm than to swat. But flies beware. If I s notice that they're starting to, to, to bite me, um, well then it's, you know, curtains for the poor fly. Showing even this fly lover can get bugged. I'm Sunita Reed.